right now we are in the beautiful town of Olsund in Norway and although the coastline here has so much beauty to offer there are also many other spectacular things that lay just a little further inland so today we are renting a car and we're gonna go see some waterfalls we're gonna go see Talstinger Road which is this massive winding road with a huge waterfall running right through it I think we're gonna go try and see this dam with a huge drop-off so while we have a set of wheels at our disposal we're gonna try and see everything that we can that we're not allowed to see with the boat. I just can not get over all the amazing views here. We're just driving along and this is a fjord that we might actually take the boat to next after we leave uh, the town of Olsund. And it is just picture perfect. So uh, we had packed sandwiches for the day, uh, but there's just this little stop here and these backgrounds are just gorgeous. So definitely taking the road a little slow today, enjoying the sights and just kind of cruising along to take in all the beauty there is. The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Amazing. The glacial water is so blue and so clear. Uh, none of that brown muck that you typically get going through these that we've seen in so many other waterfalls. Just there's something about it. Amazing. I could see it for hours and days watching. was definitely a worthwhile stop. Sometimes you just never really know what you're gonna get when you pull over the side of the road. You kind of think, okay, I'll just take a glance. And it ends up being the most effing amazing thing in the world. Jessica. I said effing. Yeah, it's still not appropriate. <laughs> the most magically amazing thing in the world. So lucky. So lucky. 
But we it's, are. Yeah, not even on the map that I could find. Uh, just kind of driving down the road and find that. So, so recommend if you come here, rent a car and drive around. Uh, well, well worth it. All right, time for Troll Seeker snow. Road. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Matt's found snow, and I have a feeling I'm about to get a snowball thrown at me any second now. All I do is think about you. <laughs> it's perfect hacking ice. <laughs> All right, let me just let me just turn my cheek for you. Take it like a man. Ah. Oh. Is it slippery? It's, I was gonna say, it looks like icy ice that like you'd make a snow cone it, out of, you know, just like add some strawberry. My Snoopy snow cone maker? Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at that snow! When's the last time we've seen this, Jess? It's been a few years. Yeah. But look at that view. Snow. Beautiful wife. Beautiful view. We're at the start of Trollsegan, and there are so many people here. I think there's maybe people regulating traffic? I don't know. Apparently it's the spot to be. The Johnsons are here, of course <laughs> yeah. Trollstegen Road is a mountain road in Norway that consists of 11 hairpin turns as well as a forceful waterfall rushing through the center. Roughly translated to Troll's Ladder, this is the most visited tourist road in the country. Each bend has its own name and is labeled with who supervised construction on that section. With granite mountains leading down into a lush green valley and rushing water on each side of you, it is a feast for the senses that quickly draws you in. Making a stop at the visitor center, situated at the top of Trollstegen Road, we took in the views and the dizzying heights before getting ready to transit the Serpentine Road ourselves. Once we get past this car, this is a section where we pass over the waterfall, so creep slow. I could feel the mist. Oh. 
And the view's this way, aren't you? Yeah, we'll have to do it on the way back up. If you're looking for some crazy, I tell you everybody's standing in a line for the water slide. You can come on over, we can take the roller coaster. That is cool. It'd be nice if it wasn't an automatic transmission Volkswagen, like uh, something a little bit sportier, Miata maybe, uh, would be a blast here, but sufficient. It's like a jacuzzi. Go do some hiking, some mountain climbing. I am. Ready. With your mountain boots? My mountain boots. At least enough lip flops. Do you think we can consider this hiking in snow capped mountains? No, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, this is <gasps> but over there, there's snow. No, look at the waterfall. Oh, yeah, let's go that oh, way. Oh, let's go see that. Okay. Why did the Vikings want to leave here? I have the feeling the winters aren't as nice as <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> probably. Yeah, we're kind of right at that peak when it's good. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'd be willing to try out a winter, though, I think. Some northern lights. Even bigger waterfalls. Wow. It's kind of nice, the trail that we're taking right now. I mean, we're somewhat aimlessly wandering, but they have these stones with red paint on the tips to kind of let you know that there is a trail there. So we're just gonna follow it. Maybe get some altitude and some spectacular lookouts, which there is no shortage of here. And actually, Something seems to be blocking us from the wind now. When we're at the bottom of the waterfalls, it was getting pretty warm. The sun was out, stripping off jackets, you know, a short sleeve shirt was comfortable. Got to the top here, the wind really picks up and obviously if there's snow on the ground, it's still a little cooler. Um, a little bit of walking around, ready to strip off my jacket again. So, 
did not need fleece line leggings today. We got up to a pretty decent height. Uh, and I don't want to say daylight's running out because it's not. <laughs> but it's time for us to get on the move again. But pretty nice. This is like our first like real Norwegian hike. Yeah, this is absolutely incredible. This is what we've been waiting for for four years. Five. Five years apparently yes. we've been planning this. So it's been a long time coming and it has not disappointed in the least bit. This is beautiful. Yes. So. Cannot wait to take the boat up some fjords now, do some hikes. Um, it's kind of been like a rush to get to certain spots, but now we don't really have a goal of anywhere to be next, so we can just go wherever the wind takes us. Uh, Arctic Circle or bust, I think is <laughs> what kind of the plan is. So yes. we'll see, we're very, very late in the season, so we'll see if we can actually make it north. Um, we're still trying to figure out if it's worthwhile or not. Uh, but a few days of good wind, I think we're only 320 miles, so. Yeah, so we just need good like couple three, of days, three days of good yep, coming from the good. south then we should be able to make it up and then probably not be able to return but that's okay <laughs> so well good job my dear back on the boat for the night and believe it or not it is 10 o'clock right now haven't had dinner yet just finished uh, some grocery shopping and errand running in addition to the sights we saw so I figured I would end this perfect day with the perfect beer uh, let me see if I can grab it one of our new local friends Jan Eric stopped by last night with some craft beers especially for me so thanks JLo for these but I've got Geiger Pilsner so, sounds like a really nice lager, nice light blonde, one of my favorites. Just gonna pop this open, dinner's in the oven, and just chill and enjoy the rest of the day. And of course I have my trusty fish bottle opener with me. It smells really nice. Very hearty, very hoppy. Very good. And Matt is talking to some new neighbors right now, but he would tell you, just as I am, we had the most wonderful day. We love everything you can see by the boat, but we also love going further inland sometimes. It's the one drawback of the cruising lifestyle. Sometimes you only see what's on shore, but uh, sometimes it's also nice just to get in a car and whip around these roads, rip through the fjords, well, uh, ride along next to these fjords and just cruise up and down the mountain so we have absolutely loved our time in Ulsund and we'll be sad to be leaving tomorrow but who knows maybe we'll hit it again on the way down but there's just there's so much Norway to see so we've got to get our butts moving but today total success absolutely wonderful time <laughs>